Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mel and I am kicking off a seasonal project pan with this video. I'm calling it Nine by Mardi Gras. I picked Mardi Gras because I just moved here to New Orleans and Mardi Gras is a huge deal down here. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, I also wanted to do a sort of smaller or shorter project pan. This is the first project pan that I'm doing. And I thought by starting kind of small with um, some of my, you know, sample size, deluxe sample size items, um, it would be sort of easier to be successful and get excited about it. Um, I am going to do like a full year long, you know, using up products in 2018 project pan that's going to focus on some of my bigger items. So watch for that video in the next couple weeks. Uh, but for now, let's dive into the nine products that I have chosen up to finish by Mardi Gras. So you are somewhere where Mardi Gras is not um, a huge deal. Uh, Mardi Gras is early February this year. Fat Tuesday or Shrove Tuesday, uh, whatever you want to call it, is February 13th. So that is what I am targeting as the end of this product, or this project rather. Anyway, um, so the nine items that I have chosen, um, like I said, are mostly smaller deluxe sample sizes. I do have one, I guess, one full size item, but then I also have two eyeshadows that I'm working on out of a palette. So the one full size item is this NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Mine is in the shade Creme Brulee. I don't like this concealer. I talked about it recently in a you know video um, products that I don't like that everybody else loves. Um, I, I find this to be very thick and a little dry. I don't think it's radiant or creamy. Um, so yeah, I, I do want to use this up and get it out of my life, even though I don't like it. I mean, it was not cheap, so I do want to, um, you know, feel like I got most of my money's worth out of it. I, you can kind of see in a couple places, um, I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but there there are a couple places where you know you can kind of see the the clear tube shining through. You know I've used enough of the product that um, it's, you know kind of getting a little um, little see through in some places. I it's very hard otherwise to kind of tell how much is in here, but I am going to keep using this for all of this project and kind of have this be like the concealer that I use on a daily basis uh, for the next two months and hopefully that will use this up entirely. I don't know, I mean, I may take the stopper out of this, I may not, um, we'll see. I feel like that's a lot of effort for a product I don't really like, but I know um, just from watching other people's videos that there's a ton of product left in here after you remove the stopper. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes with this one. But I will say that this is a product that if there is still some of it left at the end of this project, I am gonna go on ahead and just toss this. Uh, this will be well over a year old at that point, or not well over, but it'll be over a year old at that point. Um, and like I said, it's, it's not something I, I like. Um, so it's not something I wanna keep around after about that year mark anyway. So yeah, that's, that's my, my plan for this. Next up, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, this is a deluxe sample size. I ended up with four samples of this um, foundation or of this primer this past year um, through subscription boxes or gift with purchase or, or whatever, and it's fine. Um, this is the second of the four that I am on this year. Um, so yeah, I just I would like to use it up because then there's still two left in my collection afterwards. I've been using this for probably about a month already. You can't really tell, um, you know, what the progress has been. It's it's probably up in there somewhere. Um, yeah, so you know, that's it's it's primer. It takes me a while to go through, but I am um, hoping that you know by using this every day for the next two months. Um, that I will be able to use up all or most of this um, by the end of the, the project. If I haven't used it all up, I'll just roll it into my next seasonal project pan. The product is this small sample of the translucent powder from Cover FX. It is in the shade Light. I did mark this one before I started. Um, so you can see I'm a little bit over halfway um, through. It's a very small um, sample, obviously, but um, you know, I don't use a whole lot of translucent powder. Um, well, I hadn't really been using this until I decided to break it out a couple weeks ago and, you know, decide whether or not to put it in this pan or this project. And so I have one other translucent powder in my collection. I'd like to get this one used up so I can start working on that one um, 
This, the powder itself is fine. I hate how small the container is though because it takes, I mean, it takes a lot of effort to get enough powder out of here to actually use for my entire face. I, I think will be no problem to finish up by um, the middle of February. I think two months more with this is plenty of time to get this used up entirely and, and get it out of my collection. Like I said, I'd like to start working on um, another powder. Um, yeah. So this next um, next product is actually three products, um, but again, sample sizes, and these are samples of perfumes. Um, I have a lot of perfume samples sort of stockpiled right now. I had Sephora play for most of the year, and then, you know, just with, you know, the samples you get with your online Sephora purchases, I have a bunch of these little samples floating around. I'd like to use all of them up this year and get down to where I just have my full-size perfumes that I like um, and spent money on versus, you know, having a bunch of these samples just cluttering up space. I went through and any of the ones that I didn't like, I gave to somebody else or threw away. Um, and I'm down to just the ones that I like the, the smell of the perfume and, and didn't want to just, you know, toss them. So the first up is Marc Jacobs Decadence. I am right here on this one right now. So, you know, it's probably three fourths of the way full still. And then I have also by Marc Jacobs, this Daisy, and I'm right here. That's a little bit less than halfway through with this one. And then finally, um, Toka by Stella, and maybe a little bit over halfway full on this one. So, you know, even though these are samples, they do still take quite a while to use up. So I think, you know, two months for all three of these even may be a bit of a stretch. I could hopefully use um, at least two of them um, and get some good use out of that third one. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe, hopefully I can get through all three of them, but you know, we'll just, we'll see how it goes. Let's talk eyeshadow now for a little bit. Um, this is my part of the um, Smashbox Masterclass Lighting Theory palette that came out in 2016. Um, it comes in this little like book looking thing and you can take the, the pages out. Um, so this is one of the pages, it was all of the um, powder products. There was the other side had all the cream products on it. So this has eyeshadow and blushes in it. And so I would like to hit pan on two of these eyeshadows. Uh, first up is the purple that we have right here, this metallic violet, and then over next to it is a green shade, um, Optics, and I thought both of those would be sort of perfect for the Mardi Gras theme. Um, Mardi Gras colors are purple, green, and like a, I don't know, yellow, goldy color, so I thought um, the purple and the green um, would be like two fun kind of Mardi Gras themed shades to try to hit pan on. This is also probably the one of the oldest um, palettes in my collection right now. And so I would really like to hit pan on a couple shades in in this palette. And that's all I'm trying to do for this project is just to hit pan in those two, um, not you know pan them entirely, obviously. And yeah, I don't know. I'm doing a palette of the week series right now and I have a palette that I'm working on panning for 2018. So it may be a bit of a stretch to hit pan in both of these shadows but I am certainly going to try um, over the next two months and definitely at least, you know, get some use out of this palette. Um, it, just the way, the shape of it and everything, it, it is kind of um, one of those that I tend to overlook a little bit um, just because it's a little bit bigger and bulkier for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I'd like to get, get some good use out of this one. Next up, I have a blush. It is the Sephora birthday gift from last year. It is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party or Parte. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just a really sort of soft pink. Um, I like it quite a bit. I've been using it for the last couple months now, um, as primarily as my blush. And so it is getting pretty, there's, there's a bit of an indent going sort of down in this bottom part here. The embossing is definitely worn off. Um, so I think I may be able to hit pan on this by February. I, I don't know. Again, it's a blush. It takes a long time for me to hit pan on blushes, um, so we'll see. But I, I don't think that that is too much of a stretch for this um, project. I would like to use this up entirely in 2018 and move it out of my collection, but I think that's asking a bit much by February. But if I can just hit pan in this, um, I will be very happy um, with my progress on that. So finally, I have two lip products. Um, 
They are both deluxe sample sizes that came in a Sephora Give Me Some Nude Lip Kit. Um, it was one that was out sort of last winter, so winter 2017. And first is this um, mini uh, Lamarck lipstick by Marc Jacobs. It is in the shade Slow Burn. And you can see where I am left, which it doesn't look like a whole lot, but it does take me quite a while to use up lip products. I'm one of those people that tends not to reapply my lip um, makeup during the day. It's one of those like, I put it on in the morning and it wears off and, and that's just kind of life for me. Um, maybe I'll put it on like right again after lunch or something, but I, I'm not somebody that like reapplies constantly throughout the day. So it does take me longer to use up products, but I will swatch that one. And I will swatch the other one, which is this Buxom Lip Cream in the shade White Russian, which is, I love. I, I was a big fan of this one. Um, and so that is what those look like here. That is the, um, the Buxom and then the Marc Jacobs is up here. So the Buxom is kind of like the NARS. You can't really tell, um, but there are a couple places where you can see, you know, the signs of wear coming through. Um, on the, the glass. This one I probably will take out the stopper and use up every single last drop because I really do like this quite a bit. Um, this is one of those, um, you know, kind of plumping lip glosses, which I don't know that you can ever really tell the difference, but I do find the tingling to be very delightful. Um, so I do enjoy using this one quite a bit. Um, and so we'll want to get, you know, every last little drop out of this are the nine products that I would like to use up or hit pan on uh, before February 13th, um, the official end of Mardi Gras season here in New Orleans. And yeah, um, if you haven't already done so, I hope you will hit that subscribe button, come back and watch um, how this project pans out pun totally intended there, or um, check out the rest of the content on my uh, on my channel. Um, if you are doing a project pan yourself, I'd love to hear about it. I love watching project pan videos. If you're here on YouTube, let me know your channel. Or if you're just panning in your um, you know, non-YouTube life, I'd love to hear about that as well so that we can help each other stay motivated and, and you know, celebrate our panning victories together. And yeah, so until next time, have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.